going to demonstrate the easiest way to do punies, and that's sitting in a nice chair. I've been doing some of the, the, the video at the table, and I'll go back to the table because you can get a close-up better picture. But it's easier to card if you can hold the cards down on your lap instead of on a table. What I'm going to do now is card in a little bit of Tessa. This is Tessa silk that's been rainbow dyed. You can see the cotton is probably half an inch long. Silk has a much longer staple. Very long. So to get this to work, I want to cut the silk so that it's about the same length as the cotton. And I'm just going to cut some off. It can be kind of short, like noils, and put it across. Then I'm going to card it in. And you can see it's much easier to card with the cards down rather than up on the table. And I could have opened the silk out and mixed in a lot of other colors rather than just the kind of green that was there. Now I'm ready to roll this. And I left my puny stick off of the card. And again, the mistake most people make in any kind of carding or combing is putting too much fiber on the cards at once. Now I can roll this around. And there you have a puny ready to spin of cotton and silk. Here's the cotton silk puny that I just made. This is a Takli. It's a small spindle from India with a brass whorl. It's especially good for spinning cotton. I'm going to use it right on the table, but you can put it in a little bowl. You'll start with your leader, wind the leader up the shaft, and it, this has a hook on the end, and it will just kind of automatically catch on the hook. Give it a couple spins. They spin very fast. Then you can draft out your cotton, let the twist in, draft out ahead of the twist, you can, you can, then you can pinch off. You're going to need a little more twist in cotton. So I'm going to give it a couple more twists. Now I'm going to wind it on. Make a nice neat cop at the bottom of the tockley. Spiral up the shaft. Add your twist. You can let it twirl quite a while, they, and there go. They, these are really good. Then draft out, and you can see I'm drafting ahead. I'm not holding the cotton. I'm just drafting. Now I can pinch and draft this out even more. As you get better, you'll be able to draft as you're inserting twist. Now you can't see my hand and the topley at the same time. That's the problem with trying to video yourself. When it's strong enough, has enough twist, wind it on again. If the cotton, if your yarn is pulling apart, you don't have enough twist. Cotton has such a short staple that you really need a lot of twist in it. You have to wind your cop on very neatly or it won't come off. I'm going to get the tockley out and go into a little bit more detail on spinning and how to spin to show you what you need to do I'm going to show you some problems that you'll probably run into, and hopefully that you won't, but you always do. To spin it, you're just going to give your thumb a good twist, and that sets the tockly spinning. I've got it in a little bowl now. You can buy really neat little ceramic pottery bowls for spindles and I love them but I don't know what happened to mine. Let's spin the puny with the silk. Overlap. I don't know if you can see but I've overlapped 
a good two inches. I'm going to hold it toward the end and I'm going to start inserting twist. Now, why did that break apart? Because it didn't have enough twist. Don't get frustrated. It happens all the time. It's probably the most frequent problem you'll have. So just know why it happens. You've got to leave enough. You want a good several inches to stick out beyond the end of the tockley. Here again you can see this is all pulling apart because it doesn't have enough twist. All the way down it doesn't have enough twist. Wind it up. Leave enough to overlap and start inserting twist. Hold right at the end when you start doing this. You can have a wrist um, wristband to hold your fiber out of the way. But I'm putting lots of twist in now to get started and I'm going to draw it out. You can see how much I can stretch. And I'm going to add more twist. And I'm going to draft it out. It pulled apart because it didn't have enough twist. I'm drafting too fast. When that happens, you're drafting back too fast. Frequent problems. Slow down. Add the twist. Go just about an inch. Add the twist. It's harder to join on in the beginning than it is to keep going once you get started. Lots of twist. I'm going to draft it out. Lots and lots of twist. Sometimes when it breaks you need to have a little thicker part to get it started. There we go. Now again, lots and lots of twist. Now this is where I hadn't joined it yet. Now I can kind of pull on it and you see that it is well twisted. The shorter the fibers, the more twist. So I'm going to roll it on. Come back up. I'm going to start putting twist in. Now did you see how that ran around? Let's see if I can do it again. That's because I'm not pulling up and away. You want to spin off the tip of the tockley. So I want to draft up and away. I can even come out and away as long as it's up a little bit so that the twist comes in. If I hold this down, it's going to wrap around instead of adding twist. Here I go. I can draft back a little bit now. And you'll figure out about how many times you need to, to twirl it to add the twist. Here I go. Now I'm going to give it a good twirl. See, I can draft out a little bit. This is going to pull apart very easily because it has no twist. Pinch to keep the twist from getting in your fiber. Then draft out. Now I can pinch off and pull this back quite a ways. Now I need to add twist to get it to hold together. This is a long draw. You can do this on the spinning wheel. You can do it on the tockley. And I won't be able to show this because I'm filming this myself, but I...